Russia's government spendings are becoming more and more focused on the war against Ukraine. This is stated in a report by the UK Ministry of Defense. Analysts noted that Russia's 2024 budget envisages an increase in defense spending and war by about 68 percent compared to the 2023 budget, and that's about 6 percent of GDP. On the other hand, spendings on education and healthcare in 2024 will be frozen at the level of 2023 allocations, which means real spending cuts due to inflation. This means that practically everything that is necessary for education, health care and science is being reduced, and these spheres of life of the Russian society and the state will simply die out and generally degrade. This is what is happening and that's the price for such a huge military and police expenditures. This is a certain misfortune for many years, because it will be either extremely difficult or even impossible to restore it afterwards. Constant increases in military spendings are very likely to contribute to inflationary pressure within Russia, according to the UK Ministry of Defense. Continued increases in military spending would force the Russian government to make difficult decisions about how to fund the war, likely increasing financial pressures on Russian businesses. However, any substantial future reduction in military expenditure would likely remove an increasingly central driver of Russian economic activity in the face of sanctions. Ministry of Defense of United Kingdom on social media platform X formerly tweeted. The increase in public sector salaries in 2024 is also in doubt. Russian regions may not be able to find funds for this after minimum wage is raised along with the inflation. This follows from the conclusion of the State Duma Committee on Regional Policy and Local Self-Government on the draft federal budget for 2024. Many regions of Russia can do very little without budget support. They do not pay for themselves, they cannot support themselves, especially the North Caucasus. And if the budget cannot provide enough support, they will not be able to solve many problems. And many public sector employees receive their salaries from regional funds, which means that the budget in general will simply not have the funds. It's good if the only problem will be delays in paying salaries. But really, there are much worse possible outcomes. We in Russia already went through this in the 90s, so anything can happen. According to Forbes Ukraine, between February 2022 and August 2023, Russia spent $167 billion on the war against Ukraine, on killing, destroying and terrorizing Ukrainian civilians, instead of spending it on making life better for Russian citizens. With this money, Moscow could build almost 24,000 kindergartens across Russia, or over 4,500 maternity wards, or around 17,000 schools, or around 1,300 hospitals, or rebuild 20% of all paved roads in Russia. Instead, Russian war criminals have bombed Ukrainian kindergartens, maternity wards, schools and hospitals, destroying almost 120,000 civilian structures in all, including the latest attack on Nova Poshta terminal in Kharkiv. Dmitro Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on social media platform X, formerly Twitter. Russia's economy is also negatively affected by large-scale mobilization. Some Russians are being sent to the war against Ukraine, while others are leaving the country because they do not want to give their lives for the Kremlin's ambitions. Therefore, the deficit of the labor force in non-defense industries has increased in the Federation. It will reach a new high of 42 percent in July 2023. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Bil, UATV News.